Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts and I'm excited to share another project with you today. And currently Wild Orchid Crafts still has 15% off on their items, so check out their website. The links will be in the description box below. And I do want to share with you some of the items that I used today. I will also link them in the description box below. And on this project there is a start to finish video on it. So if you're interested in watching that, please stay tuned. So here I have an eight by, or excuse me, a four by four matchbook box from Graphic 45, and I got this from Cut at Home. And these are really fun if you've never altered these. They take paint really well. So I painted them with a pink acrylic paint, and then I went over it, it was way too bright, so I went over it again with white. And I covered it all with the My Mind's Eye Find Your Wings and Fly paper. This was in my stash for a long time and I've been using it lately so I've been having fun using it. This here says always remember I pulled from the sticker sheet and I have a few other items from the sticker sheet. So here are some of the items that I used. I have here, here, and here some of the mixed color wild roses 30 millimeter, and these are QVR039. And again, all of this will be in the description box. I have some of the chrysanthemums, which are my favorite. This is from the set C. They have several sets to choose from. This one is QVR031. I just used two of the tiny hip rosebuds here and here. And these are from the mixed pink tone GST014. I used two of the trellis roses. These are MKX682, and these take ink very well, or paint. I left them in the ivory tone. And lastly, I used two or three of the cream cherry blossoms, MKX056. I gave this a couple coats of paint. Like I said, I went over it again in white. I added some ribbon with some pearl trim around the sides, and I cut it off at the ends, that way the box can still open. And I added a Graphic 45 um, door handle or a drawer pull. I got this from Cut It Home. And this here is all of the paper collection. I did add some vellum, and I printed out an Allie Edwards stamp from my printer. It says one beautiful day at a time. Absolutely love that. And then I did add a few enamel dots as well and some of the leaves. I forgot to show you the leaves that I used as well. These are MKX450. I love these. These are a must-have in my stash. So I added the paper completely all the way around. And on the inside you can open this however you want. You can leave this window box open. Today I chose to close it, but I'm having it face this way and open up. And on the inside I basically just have some cards. I did finish it off on the inside as well. I have some, They could, this box comes with these cards here, so you could do either a set of note cards out of them or, or just um, maybe quotes on them or just decorate them for mixed media or make an album out of it. I, ch I use this idea and I cut some of the papers from the paper collection and what I decided to do with this is the recipient can just add photos to all of these. So I have some seam binding holding all of them together. The first page will just stay as decoration obviously. And I have a couple stickers. Here's a um, arrow sticker from the sticker sheet that comes in the collection. A hot air balloon that I popped up. This is a bow that I cut from the Cameo and I had it in my stash along with these two things here. I added some enamel dots and then some of the flowers that I showed you. So now these are four and a half inches square. Photos can be added to all of them. And then the very last one I have the seam binding sandwich between two pieces of paper. And then that way these can all stay together and like I said, lots of photos can be added on these. I left the seam binding a little bit larger, that way it allows for more room once the photos are added. And I believe that once all the photos are added, it'll take up mostly this 
the um, space inside this box. So I hope you've enjoyed. Please check out the links below for Wild Orchid Crafts. And if you're interested in watching the start to finish, please stay tuned. Thanks for stopping by.